and welcome to another PS4 Pro vs PSVR comparison. This is Trackmania Turbo and I am currently trying to get it to start. Um, I've just viewed it in 3D and uh, yeah we'll get to that. Uh, uh, it looks more detailed, much more detailed in, in 2D You'd expect that, but it's considerably more detailed. They obviously sacrificed quite a lot. It doesn't mean it looks bad in VR. It does not. Um, it's it's not my favourite game of, of at all. I used to love games like this, though. Things like that happen. Interestingly, since that's happened, I may as well mention, if you go out of bounds in this game, well, it'll let you. There's some sort of procedurally generated... Let me just turn that well I mean, it doesn't matter does it i was going to turn the sound down a bit but yeah there's some sort of procedurally generated world out there i did reach the end of it um and the bloom happened and it went all weird and graphically but it, at least in the demo it doesn't stop you going out of bounds i quite like that but we'll uh, respawn and carry on um I, it looks like a crude game anyway i, I it should it's you know, it should look pretty much like this in VR, and you know, it, there's been sacrifices made for the VR. Uh, at least in 2D, you can change the camera port, and I've RA3, that's it. Whereas in VR, you can't, as we'll see when I go to VR. I don't know if I'm even going to finish a track here, finish an actual lap. Um, uh, yeah, it's, it's, games like Stunt Car Racer on the old Amiga were brilliant. Um, I need to go faster. So, I don't know what to say. It's uh, you, This is the demo. It may not be fair to judge it by this, and really I should just be judging the graphics. But um, it's hard for me to get excited about this game, even if it's the best-looking VR game anyway, uh, ever, if it's not particularly catching me and, and making me go, wow, this is brilliant, because it frankly is not um but anyway i'm waffling let's jump to vr and see what it looks like and here we are in vr and it looks great here i mean it's uh, you know it looks crude if i look down at the rocks beneath me they are <laughs> pretty doom like patchwork quilt pieces of rubbish but from a distance it looks quite quite nice it's it's relatively clear those trees look really good uh i've turned the music off and uh, as i've probably said in the 2d i'm recording the, the vr version first the music doesn't uh turn off until you actually start racing which is annoying if you turn music off in the menu of a game you should turn the music off not when the game starts all the time but anyway that's a gripe the car looks really nice the, yeah, the, um, I assume that's a reflection or is it just a specular highlight on the roof there by the arrows? Um, I have played this in VR before, so none of this is going to be a surprise. Uh, the first thing that I noticed was the car doesn't sort of, the car goes where it wants and the camera sort of tracks the road. It's like we're in a truck going behind it and it's very off-putting in VR. I don't like it at all. So you think, well, I'll jump to cockpit mode, and there is no cockpit mode. Um, it does zoom in on certain tracks when you get close, and I wish it was there all the time. But for now, at this juncture, this is the only view we have. I think it might zoom in now. Is that the end of the track? No. Um, no. And it looks kind of nice. That car looks nice. Oh, that <laughs> came off the back. I don't know why I was going slow then. I wasn't going slow deliberately. I've just got my hand on the uh, throttle there. Um, pedal to the metal. That's a simple track, isn't it? Um, yes, so why don't we exit to track selection and select the other track? Which I think is more interesting to look at. It goes back to 2D, as a lot of these games do. Now that is a long way down. It's, I quite like this look. I don't know what that is falling down there. What is that? Is that a car? I think it's a car. I don't know if you can see that black dot. I wish this was a, like a game. I tell you what though, if, if No Man's Sky had the clarity of this, that would be a, a kudos to No Man's Sky. It doesn't, so not yet at least. 
But again, you control your car like this and the camera sort of tries to keep up. It's not a bad looking VR game though. Not at all. Um, I can't say it's my favourite game. Because it's not. Oh, I hit the chopper. That wasn't good. Um, uh, fade to black there. Comfort settings. Turn them off. Uh, if you've played Trackman, you know what this is. Oh, my car's dead. Is it dead? How do I... Don't, uh. Didn't mean to start the track again. All right, let's try going on. Another one there. I think I'm supposed to go off there as fast as I can. And not hit the chopper. Or am I going too fast? I don't know what I've done. All right, hopefully it'll drive this time. There goes the spoiler. It's not driving. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm not even going to get through an entire track here then. Uh, not worried about it. Am I supposed to start the car again? All right, it's gone back to the beginning. In both 2D and VR, the game itself is cack. Cack mania. That's what this is. Cack mania turdo. <laughs> These are the jokes, folks. All right. Uh, should you buy a pro for this game? No. Should you buy a VR for this game? No. Should you buy this game? No. Uh, that's uh, that's all I have. Join me for another PS4 Pro versus PS4 VR comparison soon. Please check out my others. They're a bit more in-depth. Um, not, mo not, not much more I can say about this. Wasted opportunity. Uh, not recommended. Thanks for watching.